so guys from last time we have entered our um, my snack shop uh, my snack shop table all right from recording your costs lesson today we have calculating your costs so after we done don't forget uh, we finished it like this English okay so we've done this last time I hope you saved your work because today we're gonna add up to it so please read page 42 43 44 and 45 in order to understand we're going to calculate the sum function which means we're gonna add up these numbers together and the sum we need to put and you sell for the total all right we're gonna make it bold and you're going to choose where the total should go it should go from here so click on this cell it's C11 and use the summation auto sum button this is the auto sum button so first choose your place where you want the auto sum to appear then click auto sum remember that when you click it it will show the numbers it will select the numbers right on top so the formula will be like this equal sum from c4 till c10 that's what we want yes what do we do next press enter key done as you can see it's just the same number as in your book now we're going to add up these information how many servings how many servings so how many servings and then that's it yes how many servings does this give us it gives us six servings fine remember we don't want the currency to appear so we're gonna choose none general okay so this is six servings all right and what's the cost per serving so all of these ingredients with these costs will give us six servings so how many did they pay for one serving there we should put a formula we're gonna make it ourselves first we're gonna select this cell it's C13 in your book it's C14 okay uh, we're gonna type equal first all right what do we want to divide we want to divide the total so click on the total it will appear C11 divided by turn the page you can follow with your book c13 which is c12 in my book in my case here and then press enter let's check is it the same yes so it should appear like this this price per serving is 1.45 dollars Remember, when you put a formula, it has to start always with equal. And then make sure you don't press anything else other than enter when you want to remove or you want to reveal the answer. If you put it here, you can see the formula here. The number shows here, the cost. Okay, so that's it. I want you to save your work for next lesson so we can follow up. Thank you very much. Please like.